Hi everyone, welcome to the Traveling Blossom Tarot, where adventure meets the tarot and growth is in the cards. For those of you that don't know, my name is Dreamalyn, and I will be your tarot reader today. Um, after the collective message, we are going to pull some cards for you. Donations are welcome, but not required, so feel free donate. Feel free to share this. Invite your friends. We're going to go ahead and get an overarching energy. Um, it's been a minute. It has been a long minute, guys. Um, <laughs> we've been retreating. I've been retreating. Actually, it's been a minute. So I have missed you, Blossoms, and I am hoping to see you today. Hoping to see you today. I'm a little nervous. Hey, not sure who's here, but hello. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Say hi so I can see who, can you, can you even, oh my God. <laughs> hey guys, hey Jeanette, look at that, I did it again. Holy shit. Up to my usual tantics. Can you hear me? I, I left my microphone off, okay. <laughs> Welcome everyone to the Traveling Blossom Tarot where adventure meets the tarot and growth is in the cards. It's been a long minute, I'm a little rusty, I'm a little nervous, and this is a big day. This energy today is so huge. Um, I don't know if you guys have been keeping up with the astrology, and I'm no astrologist. You know I am an astrology enthusiast, but there is so much going on in Libra right now, and I am just like, holy cow, guys. Hey, Lola. Hello, Tiona. Hi, Jeanette. God, guys, it's so good to see you. It's been so long. It's been just so long. How's everyone doing? Oh, thank you. Thank you. I left my um, microphone off, you know, it wouldn't be me if I didn't, right? It would not be me if I didn't. Um, but yeah, big things are happening today, guys. I mean, big releases, people letting go of things, especially if any of you have like, you know, Chiron and Aries, Whew, big releases, letting go of a lot of traumas, um, letting go of people that no longer serve us, relationships that just, you know, have been dragging us down for years and years and years. You just had a birthday. Well, happy birthday, Tiona. Happy birthday. Oh, awesome. Everyone wish her a happy birthday. That's great. Oh, I'm doing, I'm doing good. I'm tired. I'm not going to lie. I've been really tired, but, um, yeah, this energy has been kicking my butt, but I'm doing pretty good getting ready to, um, head back home head back home to Alaska. Um, that's kind of big news, but, but anyway, let's get into it. Cause we're going to do some tarot. And then after the collective message, I'm going to pull cards for you guys. So let's go ahead and dive in. I thought I was going to use these, but I don't think I am. We're just going to go right into, um, the astrology because this is such a huge, you know, moment today. We have the new moon that is conjunct the south node in Libra. Uh, Mercury is in Libra, so there's a lot of talk going on, guys, um, especially, you know, between partners, um, things like that. Yeah, a lot going on, a lot going on. But I, I'm getting ready to travel. <laughs> I'm trying to get ready to travel. Still hopping around. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> oh, you're still hopping. That's right, Lula, your foot your foot. All right, guys, let me get into this and then we'll catch out, catch up. So, so the first thing that we have coming out is the second house. So values, um, possessions, uh, beauty, even that's Libra energy too, because it's Taurus ruled, but physical security, possessions, material values, and self-worth. So everyone kind of just, um, realizing, you know, their true worth, their true value and releasing all those things that no longer serve you. Um, letting go of, you know, people, places, things. We're always doing that. But this particular, um, new moon, this particular moment in time, we're letting go of things that are like <laughs> really deeply, you know, attached to us that have been attached to us for many, many eons and years. But we have that second house coming out. So a lot of people could be looking at their finan finances, trying to balance things. Um, 
You could be having discussions with other people about finances, about your physical security, your um, materials, your resources. We also have Jupiter coming in. So this is expansion and growth. So this could be abundance coming in. It could be like a, a windfall, an abundant amount of money, um, abundant amount of self um, security. God, guys, I am really out of it. It's been so long. I'm like a nervous wreck too. <laughs> I'm like a nervous wreck. But it is, look at this coming in right after this. We have the North Node and um, that is exactly where we're headed. We are letting go of those um, South Node things once and for all, no longer clinging to them at all. We can't hold on anymore. The divine is stepping in and saying, no, it's time to let go. We will no longer let you hold on to these things that have hurt you or hindered you or, you know, damaged you in some way. We do have that trauma energy coming in, but those things that we are destined to have, Releasing those pains and finding that happiness. Hey, Fernanda. Hey, girl. Good to see ya. Yeah, finding that happiness. We have the um, the ninth house coming in, too. So a lot of people having spiritual awakenings going through it right now. This is Sagittarian energy. Could be dealing with the Sagittarius. But um, having uh, spiritual growth and mentorship. It could be about traveling. Maybe you are getting ready to travel. Travel afar. You're actually, you know, going to go somewhere really, really far away. But spiritual growth, enlightenment, awakening. You could be mentoring someone. You could be learning. We're going to go into this a little bit more, guys. We have Leo coming out with Neptune. More self-energy, more self-worth, more self-confidence. Finding your, um, your confidence, your courage your strength, your power, right? Standing in your own power and coming back into yourself. Chasing dreams, Neptune. We have Neptune coming in. So following our heart, chasing our dreams. A lot of you could be um, experiencing a lot of dreams right now. If you are, pay attention to those dreams because the divine is talking to us all right now. We are getting like massive, massive downloads. So pay attention to those dreams and you are definitely leveling up, ascending to a higher um, dimension here. A lot of growth. I like this, guys. Anything else? Let's see. Mm. I really like this. I feel like some of us have been are letting go of um, old thoughts, old behaviors, old patterns that have held us back. You know, old traumas from the Chiron placements, things that we didn't always um, see because maybe we were clouded by Neptune or something like that. We didn't see those things. I feel like a lot of us are releasing those negative thoughts, negative patterns. We have a sextile coming in, a combination of tension and flow, potential and rewarding situation. So this is coming in right under Jupiter, and we know that Jupiter is the planet of blessings. It is a, um, an abundant planet. It's supportive energy. So lots of abundance coming in. I feel like there's um, abundance in your finances and wealth. There's a lot of wealth, a lot of finances, resources. It doesn't even have to be money. It can be resources. You know, you think of... Um, the clothing on your back, you think of the food, you know, you know, all of those things, you, you, all of that helps you. So with the North node, we have, um, Scorpio coming in intensity, exposing, purging and renewing. It's like a final transformation. I kept hearing that song this morning, the final countdown. So it's like a final transformation. One more, <laughs> one more. One more. Hey, Mina. Yes, you can have cards in just a little bit. We're going to get through this collective message, hopefully. It has been such a long time and I am like super rusty, but yeah, I've been up for hours too. 
So after this Scorpio energy, we have Libra coming in, balancing the scales. This is this is really beautiful. Consideration, fairness, harmony. If you guys are going through any legal stuff right now, I feel like this is a sign that everything is going to be okay and it's going to go in your favor. You will have justice. Um, justice will prevail. Harmony will rebalance itself, which is wonderful, right? Um, fairness. Fairness was in your dream. I'm trying to keep up with you guys at the same time because I've missed you so much. I'm just so excited to be here that I just want to talk with you guys and say, okay, let's just not even worry about the cards. But look at this, guys. We had the North Node show up and we have the South Node showing up and we have Libra here and um, that's where they're at. They're Libra and Aries. So we're, um, you know, letting go of things that have been with us many, many lifetimes possibly. But, you know, we're utilizing it in um, the movement forward, the way forward. These are things that we're destined to, destined to let go of. And it comes right here at the end, too. So this is really awesome energy. I like old relationships, definitely. We have the fish here. We have Libra coming in. That's, um, you know, unions, relationships, contracts. Could be business, even. With all the finances that are coming through, this could be like your business contracts running out, settling those things. A lot of love relationships, though. A lot of relationships that were possibly um, traumatic, um, detrimental to our health, to our mental health, our emotional health, our spiritual health, because we have all that coming in here. I feel like that's what we're really, really letting go of, you know, during this eclipse. This is going to be, and, and it's making way for the unions that are meant, you know, we're meant to have. The people that are meant to be in our lives. It's making way for those people. It's opening us up to the possibility of something, you know, new and something that we were destined to have all along that maybe we just didn't see because we had that Neptune, you know, those rose colored glasses um, that we all enjoy wearing because sometimes it's a little bit nicer to see that, right? But yeah, opening us up to those things. Um, we have more Sagittarian energy, guys, on the bottom. We have Saturn on the bottom and Mercury. Saturn is in Pisces right now, but we were talking about learning, teaching, um, teaching mentoring. Um, Mercury, you know when you come here, Mercury is going to be involved. But um, like spiritual, spiritual conversations that are taking place, spiritual teaching, spiritual guidance coming through right here um, for us. I'm going to leave those out because I feel like they're important. But yes, yeah, so, so coming through. All right, let's see what else we can get. Thank you so much, Spirit Guys. Oh, bad connection, guys. Sorry about that. Thank you so much. Yeah, guys, we're shaking things up and we could be receiving communication about um, definitely about our finances. So if those of you, um, I feel like this is for those of you that might be going through some sort of legality, some sort of divorce um, or split separation, something like that, because we have the tower coming in right there in the center of the Ten of Pentacles. That's like, uh, you know, a marriage splitting truth and justice coming in with the ace of swords victory victory in some sort of legality possibly um around your finance finances your stability resources it feels like a divorce this one this one right here that's coming out here this feels like for those of you that may be going through some sort of um dissolvement whether it's you know um business or romantic or whatever it is it feels like that's what that is about let's see what else we get teaming up so some of us are going to be teaming up planning making plans for the future communicating those plans new ideas new opportunities working with others collaborating 
Some of us are going to be doing that. I want to get a little bit more on that one. With the Three of Pentacles collaborating, coming in, talking about, you know, what steps to take next, what to do next. This is coming out with the Seven of Wands. So you guys might be um, keeping the... Um, the plans, keeping your plans, keeping your di um, your ideas, your communications, keeping it on the down low, protecting it. We have that seven of wands coming in, um, protecting it. You know, a lot of people coming in, there's a lot of chatter in the community right now. So a lot of um, people coming in and, you know, gossiping, that kind of stuff. So you kind of just, it's almost like something not wanting it to get um, the cat get out of the bag, right? So you're keeping it on the down low and keeping it secret for now, some of you. Some sort of plans, um, opportunity, could be online opportunity, fairly new, whatever it is. If it's a relationship or something like that, it's fairly new with that page of swords there. But it could be an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. We have everybody here. Um, could be some kind of communication deal. And you're keeping it under wraps right now. Let's see. Anything else? Let's see what else. Kind of getting a couple different groups here right now. I feel like it's endings and beginnings, right? And that's exactly what we're going through. Um, we have more Leo energy coming in. Strength card. Using compassion, empathy, kindness. Courage, strength, stepping into that, stepping into the self, having more fun. Three of Cups. We have Three of Cups coming in with the Queen of Pentacles and the Strength card. So having more fun because possibly you've stabilized your resources, right? The Queen of Pentacles, she's very resourceful. Um, she's very strong and courageous. She's also very intuitive. So, you know, possibly you have... Um, stabilize your resources and you're able to have a little more fun now a little more enjoyment so you could be stepping out to parties getting any kind of party invites um hanging out with friends coming into your real tribe right because we're letting go of those people those people places things and so coming into your um your own tribe soul partners soul tribe what else do we have we have the seven of pentacles on the bottom so be patient with this. Allow um, everything time to process and grow. Be willing to stand uh, your ground, stand up for whatever it is that you're doing. And if you do find yourself in a love affair or wanting love, you may have to um, be a little bit patient with it. It may take a little time, but you may have to be a little bit patient with it. And there may be a little bit of... Um, a little bit of strife, but it's going to work its way out because you have the cup um, you have here, the Ace of Cups with the Ten of Cups. So it will be successful. It's just going to take time. There may be um, a little bit of struggles with some resources or finances, Seven of Pentacles. You might have to do some money management, some budgeting, something like that. It could be in regards to dating or something. Um, Move in the shadows with your plans. Exactly. Tell them, Lola. Yes. <laughs> All right, guys. So I'm going to get a couple mindful messages, and then I'm going to finish it with some starseed cards, and then I'm going to open the floor, and we're going to talk. Even more than I've already been talking. Hey, Karen. Good to see you. Yes, you can get a card in just a moment. Everybody can. Um good to see everyone. I do apologize for being uh, absent for a long time, but like you guys, you know, I'm moving in the shadows, Lola. <laughs> all right. So mindful message. First, we have magic. There is magic and miracles all around me. Where others see coincidence, I see evidence of life synchronicities. I love filling life with wonder and magic. It's way more fun that way. So here I feel like Spirit is telling us to be mindful, pay attention to those synchronicities. Remember, if you're having dreams, 
or anything like that, document that stuff right now because it's very, very important. If you're seeing numbers, like I've been seeing, excuse me, I have been seeing 1212 and 1221 everywhere for weeks now. They will not leave me alone. So if you're, if you're seeing those numbers or um, you're seeing maybe, you know, I'm hearing unicorns, you're seeing unicorns or anything like that, pay attention to those things and document those things because your guides are trying to help you in this, you know, life. They're trying to help you along your way. Anything else? Thank you. Okay. Personal journey. Guys, I love this card. I follow what feels right within me without needing validation from others. We are each our, on our own journey and mine does not need to look like anyone else's. My enjoyment and satisfaction is validation enough. This is so true and this current energy, that is exactly what we're going to start seeing a lot more of. A lot of us stepping into our own power, realizing we are on our own personal journey and we can do the things that we want to do that make us happy, that bring us joy, that bring us abundance, that is no longer about pleasing everybody else. You know, it's about pleasing ourselves and doing the things that we want to do for ourselves and to, um, you know, set out the life that we are destined to have that we truly want. So it is a personal journey. So no matter what anyone is telling you, fueling you, you know, feeding you, it's your journey. It's your life. Do it your way. Be wild, be free, be you. <laughs> be wild, be free, be you. All right, guys, let's get a couple of these um, starseed cards. And then I'm going to open up the floor. Oh, my, my. And at the end of it, I will actually pull the charms. I know a lot of you guys love the charms, but I'm feeling like right now we're going to do the charms at the very end. So I'll be on here until about 1130-ish. So we'll get as many of you as we can. Intuition. I got this card during the pre-shuffle. This is um, definitely a message that we need to see because I got this during the pre-shuffle. Intuition, trust your intuition. It has been guiding you to the answers that you seek. This is the divine saying, right now is a time where you really need to believe in yourself, trust in your, in, um, your intuition, your instincts, your prompts, whatever your guides are telling you to do, the synchronicities, um, all of that, the signs. It's very, very important. So follow that. Next, we have creation. Being creative is a wonderful way of witnessing the unfolding of your limitless creative soul. So doing um, crafts, art crafts, any kind of thing. If you're doing YouTube, you're doing, you know, TikTok videos, whatever it is, just creating and allowing yourself to create the life that you want. Um, next, we have vibration. Your vibration is being raised to higher levels. You are connected to the cosmic intelligence. We were talking about that early on, that we were um, ascending. We are, you know, the collective energy is being um, lifted. It's being lifted. We're all a part of it. It's so amazing, right? Wow. Connected to the cosmic intelligence. So you can tune into the collective power anytime that you want. Anytime that you need help, you can tune in, tune into yourself, tune into the collective and, and find that guidance or wisdom that you need to help you along your way. All right. All right, guys, let's see. I'm going to start putting these cards up and then uh, we're going to open up the floor. If you have been here before, you know the drill. If you haven't been here before, I have um, the tea leaf cards. Um and there's 200 of them. So I have them in two separate piles and you can pick the pile that you would like me to read the cards from for you. You can ask a question or you can get a general reading. Totally up to you. Um, I do as many as I can, as many as time allows and um, donations are welcome, but you don't have to, okay? 
Although I would appreciate it if you would at least go on over to my YouTube and give me a like, a, a follow or something over there. Um, and I will be doing more readings here very, very soon. Hey, let's see, Mina, can I have a message, please? Anything good coming my way soon? You're new. Are you new, Mina? I thought you were, um, I thought you were here before, but yeah. Yeah, that's fine. Well, Hello, everybody. So for those of you that don't know, my name is Dreama Lynn. It's been a while. Most of you do know that I see you here because you've been here with me for a long time. Um, I've been uh, going through a lot of transitions and I'm on the move again. <laughs> I'll be on the move again soon, but soon, hopefully everything will get back to normal here at my channel and um, my space. So, okay. Let's see, Mina, I'm going to start with you. So I have two piles and this is how I do the, mine. I have two piles. Um, so you can choose the pile you want me to work from. Amethyst is pile one. Agate is pile two. I will pull as many cards as spirit gives you. I will give you as much time as spirit wants me to, and then I'll move on to the next person. Okay. And I will try to get any of the answers that you sink. So if you can just let me know which pile you want me to work from, I'm here in pile number one, but, um, that's up to you. Lola synchronies, synchronicities, synchronicities still smacking me in the face too. Yeah. Yeah. It's like freaking crazy. Hi, Karen. It's good to see you. It's good to see everybody. Fernanda pile one. Okay. All right. Thanks, Mina. Thanks so much, Spirit Guides and Angels, to my mother and father and sisters and loved ones. This is for Mina. Highest energies. Highest energies for Mina. Highest energies for Mina. Okay, Mina, first thing I'm getting for you is to trust your intuition. And it's deep in the pit of my stomach. I'm feeling something. So... I don't know if you've been, um, you know, feeling something deep within, but if you are, trust it, okay? Because just as I'm riffling your, um, your energy, that's what I'm getting right in the pit of my stomach. It's really down in the sacral region, too, a little bit, um, between the, like, sacral and solar plexus, so take that how it resonates, if it does. Leave it behind if it doesn't. Let's see. Mina. Mina. Ooh. Wow. Mina. Ooh. Wow, Mina. That one really jumped, didn't it? They're all jumping. Wow. I, I can say I feel like something's definitely coming your way. Um... Wow. <laughs> that one really flew. I feel like something is definitely coming your way, Mina. Um, however, I feel like it's going to come after the loss of something else with that card falling down. And um, the card that fell down, it says, take care of enemies working against you as the bat. So I feel like it's something that... Um, you know, one of those bad things or traumas possibly that we're eclipsing out of. So definitely something good coming, I feel like, after something, you know, fell off the table or an offer or something like that that didn't come through. You might have thought it was something good for you, but it actually wasn't. So that's why I feel like the divine is like, no, because you also have the shield so I feel like you're being protected. It, um, you got chair filled. After that bat, you have chair filled. It says someone new entering in your life. So someone new or a new opportunity, something, um, a new job. I'm hearing possibly if you're hoping for a new job or something like that, new job. Um, 
you got the shield. I feel like uh, this is the guide saying that they are protecting you right now. That's the energy that I'm picking up from this, Nina. The card actually says you need to defend yourself. So you do want to pay attention and be prepared. You may have to um, stand up for yourself against somebody or something. Um, could be, could be someone could be a Sagittarius I'm getting right off the bat. So it could be a Sagittarius because I'm getting a mule. Someone is extremely stubborn and unwilling to change. And Sagittarius, I love you guys. My best, one of my best friends is a Sag or a couple of them actually. So I'm not, not saying anything. It's just the energy that I got the minute I touched this card is a uh, Sagittarian energy. So this could be about, um, well, it could be related to the ninth house. I, I am definitely getting that. It could be um, a teacher, a mentor, a lesson. Actually, yes, a lesson, a lesson. Could be a hard lesson that you've had to learn or that you will have to learn. Um, and that could be why you're needing to protect yourself. Um, or why you're being protected. We also have May coming in for you, Mina. So uh, May could be a very significant month. So you could be dealing with the Taurus, Taurus energy coming through. But I feel like whoever this is, you know, Taurus is a fixed energy. So it's actually, um, you know, kind of stubborn, but I'm not getting that. What I'm getting with this energy is that this person will... Um, this person or whatever happens in May, it'll be a very fluid time for you is what I really feel. That May, things may start to really start to run more smoothly. I do feel like um, we have been kind of in limbo, the whole collective for a long time now. And I don't think we're really going to start um, leaping forward more quickly until around March 2025. Um, but definitely may you know march might start like kick off for you but then by may things will be running much smoother is what i'm getting here you have dawn coming in a close-up pleasure with a close friend so it, um this could be um hanging out with your friends we have that three of cups coming in there that part of the collective message may be for you you have that three of cups could be guided to um get out more hang out more you could be invited to parties events um, things like that. And if you are, I feel like spirit is saying, go for it, get out there, um, hang out with those friends. You might actually, uh, be introduced or actually receive a new job offer or something like that through a friend that's coming out with that someone entering your life. You have, um, a couple of different dark haired people that are showing up here, Mina. Um, so I, I don't know if that's significant for you, but I am noticing the dark hair. You have a couple of dark haired people that are coming towards you. This one here is a dark woman. It says dealings or a relationship with a woman with dark complexion or dark hair. So I'm not sure if, um, you know, that could be that friend that's coming to help you or entering your life. Doesn't have to really, well, no, it does really feel like a woman. It doesn't necessarily have to be a feminine energy, but it really does feel like a woman. And I feel like this person is very important to you or will be very important to you. Very important to your happiness. Look at this. We have happiness coming in. Your happiness is even being protected because it comes underneath the shield. Um, it could also be that you have to protect your happiness a little bit more as well. You're going to need to, you know, stand up and say, Hey, I want to be happy and I refuse to settle for anything less. Yeah. <laughs> You're definitely being protected. I don't know if you have a guide or an angel that is dark haired. Um, maybe, maybe a mom, possibly a friend. I get a friend energy, spiritual guidance, protection from harm. So you have a guardian angel on your shoulder and that could be that Jupiter energy. I, where is Jupiter in your chart? Maybe check that. Um, I don't know if you have a 12th house Jupiter placement, but um, could have. 
could have. I'm feeling that 12th house Jupiter placement, like a guide, an angel. Okay, in um, May, we have the tent coming underneath here. It says a temporary situation. So something could um, evolve around May. It could be a little bit difficult, but it's you're going to roll right through it. You're going to be, you know, smooth sailing. You're going to roll right through there. Flow. Flow through it. Let's see. Your birthday is August 12th. Okay, so you are Leo, right? Yeah. Leo or Virgo? No, you're Leo. Yeah. Um, I don't have any friends right now. Okay, well, this could be, I mean, I don't have a lot of friends either, so I can certainly resonate. But this could be that the friend is the guardian angel. You know, and it, um, I don't know, you know, how connected you are to your spirit team, your guides, if you've actually met the people, know the people, know what they look like. But it could be an angel. And the last card that you have coming in here is a bouquet, compliments from an admirer. So overall, I feel like everything's going to be okay for you. Like you're letting go of all the things that, you know, just are not helping you and everything's going to be okay. Now you, if you're looking for love, excuse me, if you're looking for love, this could indicate that there is love on the way and it could come around May because we do have that time there. Um, and they may, they, it may be someone, you know, unbeknownst to you, like it could be a friend or anything that you just don't even know. And then all of a sudden, wow, <laughs> right? Like all of a sudden there's a wow, where did this guy or this person come from, right? So that is what I am getting for you, Mina. I hope that helps. Um, do let me know. I think overall it's pretty good stuff. I think you're going to be okay. Everything's going to work out. And if um, I did see that you were um, needing a new job, and I think that you are going to definitely receive an offer here soon. Um, I'm getting the number two right now for you, Mina, as well. I'm getting the number two. And I'm hearing like two weeks. So I don't know if something's going to happen here in a couple of weeks for you, but I'm hearing two weeks. Hey, Tina. Hey, Tina. Good to see you. Pick a pile, guys. Let me know which pile you want. Um, all right, Karen, we're going to you, pile two. Karen, pile two. Do let me know which um, pile you guys want. Thanks so much, Spirit, Gods, and Angels, to my mother and father, ancestors, and loved ones for Karen, highest energies. Karen, I didn't see that you had a question or anything, so I was going highest energies. Is that what you wanted? I, I didn't see any questions, so changes my my now. Oh, you're so welcome, honey. You're so welcome. You you guys make my day too. I'm so happy to be here. My goodness. It's been so long. I was talking with my friend this morning and I was like, um, yeah, I'm nervous as heck. <laughs> it's been so long. It's been like four months since I've read the cards for anyone. So, but I was guided to come on here and, um, do this. So here we are. Hopefully you guys can bear with me. Oh my, my, everybody has so much going on. Karen, Karen, Karen. Oh, wow. Wow, spirit. Got me working hard today. <laughs> Got me working hard today. Spirit is like, yeah. <laughs> Let's see. Karen, I feel the need to count some cards for you. Five, six, seven, eight. What do we got here? These are together. Ten. You have 13 cards. That's energy of Scorpio. That's transformation. So um, transforming, you could be dealing with the Scorpio, have strong um, Scorpio placements or a Pluto placement. Um, Venus is going to be going into Scorpio 
soon, I believe. Well, we'll be going into Scorpio season actually here in a few more weeks. So could be, um, a lot of change. You could, you could, um, receive a lot of intense downloads is what I'm getting there for that. And you've got a month here too, but this is broken up. So you have 13 cards here and it's all broken up. 13 reduces to a four, which is the energy of the fourth house. It's the energy of foundation, um, energy of the mother I'm getting the mother. All right, let's go ahead and look at these cards though. So you have the owl coming in. Good advice from a wise person. Now this could be the mom because I'm really feeling mother energy here. I'm feeling like strong mother energy. So I don't know, um, Karen, it, um, anything about your mom or anything, but I'm really getting mother energy. This could be you as a mom even. Um, but gaining wisdom, insight, good advice. That's the first thing that's coming out for you. So... I would definitely say that you are going to receive some advice around Scorpio season around that time. And, um, you're going to want to really take heed to it, really follow it, trust it. Um, hmm. April, you have the month of April coming in with this. So it could be something that's actually happening from Scorpio season to April, April, that's Aries season, new beginning, passion, inspiration, new, new, something new, something that inspires you. Hmm. You may be wanting, um, you may receive some information here, Karen, that really inspires you to uh, create change around April um, to really go after something possibly that you've longed for for a long time that you've wanted because April, that's Aries energy. And that is like, you know, Aries, they they take charge. They do. They're the first ones, you know, in line. It's like, you know, first ones out. I get a strong Aries there. Um, you could be inspired to um, actually leave behind um, friends or family that are toxic to you. And I really feel family and I, I hope I don't. I don't know, Karen, don't shoot the messenger. And as I always say, trust your own intuition. Trust your own intuitive prompts. You've got the, the mice here discord among family or friends. We have the mother energy coming in. So I don't know if there's something going on with you and your mom, your mom and someone else, or you as a mom with, you know, a child or whatever, but you could choose to, or it could be like a mother figure. You could choose to pull away from, um, someone very close to you, motherly, motherly. I don't know that energy is coming in really super freaking strong and it, it might happen around April. They could be a Scorpio. It could be a Scorpio. You have this coming in with vulture depression, anxiety, worry that someone is against you. So this could be actually you pulling away from somebody, um, family or friend, foe, um, that you have been concerned with for a very long time that you have, you know, uh, possibly fought with or had a lot of dealings with a lot of arguments. Um, you may have felt like, um, you were their prey, right? Cause vultures are predative, you know, they're predators. So you may have felt like, you know, their prey, like they followed you and, you know, stalked you or, or something like that. Um, but definitely someone that has worked against you and caused a lot of strife in your life. It, family, it is family. Okay. I, I get it. You know, I, I'm a firm believer that just because we're family doesn't mean that we can't, um, let go of each other, you know, because sometimes we have to, and as we all know, what is meant for us always comes back around. So, 
Okay, so next we have coming in, we have an archway coming in. So so you do have new opportunities that are coming. And I, I was hoping that that might be because some of the energy was kind of, I wasn't really liking it. And there is, there is this sorrow, this um, energy of sadness um, kind of in the undercurrent right here. It's kind of in the undercurrent and it's kind of deep. So this could be about those things that you're releasing right now. Those, um, you know, South node traumas. And I don't know where your Chiron is, but if your Chiron is in Aries, you could definitely be dredging up some of those traumas, those, um, you know, very painful things that you've dealt with, you know, since childhood and dealing with those. But new opportunities are coming in and you've got the archway. So there is a door opening for you. And that door of opportunity may even be in April or between that time lapse of Scorpio season and and um, April. It says new opportunities, possibilities, and paths opening up. So something's definitely going to be opening up for you. It could be after you receive this advice. It could be, you know, that kind of advice that just opens you up and gives you a whole new outlook, a whole new perspective on things where you just like, wow, I didn't see that that way. Thank you so much. You really helped me. You really helped guide me, you know, to understand this better or to see this differently. And now I think I can do what I need to do to move forward, right? Because there's a, a door that's opening up and maybe you just didn't see this doorway. Next, we have the camel coming in. It says, persevere and you will overcome your problems. So spirit is saying, don't give up. Keep going. You've got this. You're on the right path. Don't let go. Trust your instinct. Follow your intuition. You know, um, I, I am getting the water here for you, um, Karen. I don't know if you're in the area of the storms, but if you, I know you've been with me for a moment. And all this year I have been, Spirit has been channeling the storms with me, talking about the, the you know, need to be prepared, the need to hydrate, uh, the need for water. Um, so I don't know if you're dealing with um, those storms, flooding, you know, um, Hurricane Helene or any of that. But if you are, my heart goes out to you and we'll pray for you. But I am getting the water here. So water very, very significant for you right now. Make sure you're getting lots of fluids, lots of water. Stay hydrated. Next, we have the um, needle and thread coming in. It says a sincere wish will be granted. So this opportunity that's opening up for you may have been something that you've been manifesting for a long time. Um, and it could actually be this uh, split from the family, you know, split from this uh, discord that's in your life. Um, you may have been hoping and wishing for that for a long, long time. You may have been, you know, hoping for something more, um, satisfying, satisfying, more, uh, vital, you know, um, and I think that it's going to come through for you. Next, we have a carriage coming in. It says a journey, either physical or mental. Now this could be about that new perspective. You gain that new insight. So you go on this mental journey of, um, you know, reflection, introspection, um, or it could actually be that you're taking a physical trip. You're actually going to go somewhere. We did have travel come up in the collective message. So you could be going on a trip somewhere. Um, you could be going on like a retreat. Um, they're really pulling me to that because I was shot. I was, uh, pre-shuffling and I got retreat and I'm seeing the vulture here and the carriage coming underneath it. So I feel like you could be taking a retreat and getting away, taking some, you know, time to yourself, which is going to be really good for you. Next, we have an older man coming in. Dealings are a relationship with an older man. So we had like mother energy. We have fem feminine energy, but now we have an older man coming in. So you, I feel like um, spiritual teachers are really trying to communicate with us a lot right now. So um, I'm going to reiterate, Karen, you know, the signs, synchronicities, the dreams, all of that that you might be having right now. Take note of those things and just kind of see if you can gain some clarity, you know, or, or some message, some information to help you on your um, path. 
Um, hmm. Now this older man, everything that's coming out underneath this older man is, I feel a little bit tied together and um, there's five. So I do feel that conflict with that. You may have the conflict with this older, older man. You've got weeping willow coming out with it, family sorrow. This could be, um, it could be, I'm, I'm feeling a divorce, but I don't know. Um, it, it, some, some sort of loss is tied to this man. I feel like, I feel like, a, um, well, there's, I really do get a little bit of a feeling of divorce. Not, no, I don't really know if that's for you. It's so faint. So I really don't, I don't know if it's for you, maybe for someone else that I'm feeling that, but there's sorrow tied to this older man there. But the thing of it is, is this person actually thinks a lot about you too, which I'll get to that. Um, you could be, you know, the struggles could be tied to this person. We have the Valley deep personal strength and peace that assure success. So, you know, there's um, getting over the hurdle, getting through, getting over the valley, but you're going to make it. Remember, persevere, continue on, continue on, don't stop. Um, that loss, that's, it, it could be like a financial loss or um, a, uh, um, a physical loss of something, like a... Um, Well, it, 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 something um, small, something that, you know, might not necessarily be hard, um, easy to see in the beginning, right? It might be a little bit hard to see in the beginning, so it won't be that easy to see um, because it's actually being played out through karma. We have the haystack coming in after this, and it says, karma, you will reap what you have sown. So... With this here, I feel like um, this is saying that, you know, you are going to reap the benefits. You are going to start to see the benefits of all the seeds you have sown this year. You know, all the things, all the um, seeds you have sown in the past. And the reason that I feel that way is because it's so close to this bow. And this bow, it says you are highly thought of. You are highly, highly thought of. So I feel like um, karma is coming for you and it's going to be fair. It's going to be just. You're going to reap the reward of something. It might take time or you might not notice right away, but you'll slowly start to notice. This could even be that opportunity, that doorway that's opening. Okay. All right. So that is what I got for you, Karen. Whoo, that is like a lot. I hope it helps. <laughs> Who is next? Good luck, Tiona. Okay, Tiona, pile one. Let me know, guys, um, which pile you want. I'm going to be on here until about 1130, give or take. You guys know Master. He's here. You know, he's over there laying on the bed. So he's here. Um, he might let us stay a little bit longer. <laughs> He may. Let's see. Tiona, pile one. Okay. If you guys have questions, let me know when you're letting me know which pile you would like me to work from. Thanks so much, Spirit Gods and Angels, Time Mother, Father, Ancestors, and Loved Ones. This is for Tiona. Highest energies, please, for Tiona. Highest energies for Tiona. Highest energies for Tiona. Guys, I am going to start. Um, you're welcome, Karen. You're so welcome. I'm going to be putting together some Zodiac readings um, here over the next couple of weeks. I'm going to do everything I can to get through um, everybody because I know I have, you know, been absent for a while. So I'm going to try to get through those. So if you haven't, go on over and give me a follow on my YouTube channel because that is where you will find those. All right, Tiona. 
everybody has so much to say today. And don't forget, guys, I'm going to pull the charms at the end of the live. Hi, bye. Good to see you. It's been a bit. It's been quite a bit. I hope that you are well, everybody. Okay. Tiona, let's see. Tiona, you have seven cards. That's energy of the chariot, cancer energy. This could be about home, um, your home life. This could be about movement, taking action, taking the bull by the horns and taking, you know, lead of your life. Excuse me. Ice. <laughs> But you have five up and two that are face down. I always like to tell you guys that because usually when they're face up, for me, it's like you kind of are already working with the energy or you already know this or something like that. And then when they're face down, it's something that's maybe upcoming. And it isn't always, but it can be. So just, you know use your own discernment but you know we had that energy um tiona we had that energy um in the collective about you know our relationships ending we're all we are all letting go of something whether it's a relationship that we have with ourselves relationship that we have with someone else if we're divorcing we're combining we're coming together whatever stage you know we're all in these different stages but we're definitely all letting go of something big right now and i don't know if you're letting go of a big relationship a big partnership one that is you know um one you've been very committed to but the first card that we have coming out for you is the broken ring it says parting of the ways in either romance or business so um, if you're not already dealing with a partnership of some sort, whether it's a business contract or a romantic one that is ending, this could be, um, a sign that something might be being, um, removed from your life. Um, possibly that you weren't able to do for yourself. So it could be, you know, the divine stepping in and saying, no, we're going to, we're going to take hold right here. We're going to take hold of the reins, right? That chariot energy. We're going to take hold of the reins right now because we need to help you get through this. Um, whatever it may be, some sort of ending. It could be an ending with a behavior that you're having within yourself, um, or a marriage or, a you know, even, a just a committed partnership of some sort, but you have that ring coming in. I do get the third eye energy here. So um, I feel like whatever this is, you need to um, remain open, remain aware, um, remain objective, I'm hearing. Remain objective, okay? Um, next, we have this coming in with the funnel. It says period of frustration and lessons to be learned. So if this is something that's being removed from your life that you're not necessarily feeling like you want it to be right now, because I know, uh, you know, a lot of us are having that energy. Um, it, if it is, if you're resonating with that, then this could be the reason that it's being eclipsed or removed from your life is because there's a, a hard lesson here that you have to learn before you can move forward to what you're destined to have, right? Because we are all um, letting go of South Node stuff and we're all being, you know, collectively for, moved into our North Node, into our destiny. So this could be a very difficult time for you um, you could be extremely frustrated. I feel Mars energy. Check your Mars. You could be dealing with an Aries, but check your, um, or Scorpio. Um, check your Mars energy. I'm really feeling Mars. If you can look in your chart and see what is Mars doing? How is Mars, um, aspecting possibly the South node, North node? Um, very, very important. Those nodes. How is, uh, Mars aspecting this, um, new moon, you know, uh, 
or is it making is Mars making any kind of connection to any kind of planets that are in the um, Libra Libra because this is that Libra energy today so there's a lesson there and you might find some information in that area of your life okay so um, next we have an eagle coming out. So you could be receiving messages, downloads. You could get phone calls, emails, text messages, that kind of stuff. Eagles, all birds are messengers. You could be dealing with Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. It says triumph over troubles and obstacles. So see, it might be really hard right now, and it probably is, but you're going to prevail. You're going to be okay. You're going to soar. This is going to release you and allow you to fly, to fly and to um, I'm, be burden free. I'm here and be burden free. So releasing of burdens, this could be about letting go of some burdens, something that has been tying you back, you know, um, Next, we have this coming in with the shark. It says, take care or there will be a loss of material wealth. So, and it's coming in right underneath this broken ring, Tiona. Um, and remember, I was getting that energy of the third eye of remaining aware and um, open, right? So this could be tied to that. Take care or there will be a loss of material wealth. Um, pay attention to your finances. Your Libra and, you know, Libra is about money. It is about finances. So um, check your finances. This could be, um, there could be something there I'm hearing in the fine print. If there's any kind of contract, like a legal, actual, binding, written contract, there could be something in the fine print. Um, also, lean into your friends. Uh, you got the dog close up. Pleasure with a close friend. Lean into your friends. There's something here about the teased hair, Tiona. So I don't know if you have a friend that has um, teased hair or you have teased hair or, or you maybe mom. Maybe mom had teased hair. But there's something about that. There's a connection to that teased hair there that I'm being drawn into. Um, lean into your friendships. They're going to help you through this. It could be one one very important friend, okay? And it may have that, that teased hair. Or it could be about you, to, you know, your closeness, the teasing that you guys have, the, you know, the um, playful banter and things like that. They help you through. Um, next, we have the clouds coming in. So Spirit is wanting you to know that this is a temporary situation. It's going to be difficult for a moment, but you are going to triumph. It is very temporary. The sun is going to shine. It's going to shine and illuminate everything and bring about happiness here. Next, we have the kangaroo. The kangaroo is the last card out and it says unsettled times need to plan ahead. So I feel like this is spirit saying that you're going to need to take steps and you're going to need to follow them by the, you know, one by one. So plan ahead, plan for your future. What do you want in your future? Sit down, um, have those negotiations with yourself is what I'm getting. Have those talks with yourself and make a plan. Devise a plan that works for you, excuse me, that's going to help you through whatever um, this is, whatever contract this is that's ending or whatever's happened. Devise you some kind of plan. There's something here, too, about the pouch. So possibly um, I feel like this could be about setting money aside for yourself, um, a little nest egg. It could be even about saving for a home, possibly with the pouch in the kangaroo. So it could be about saving for a home. But all in all, Tiona, everything is gonna be okay. And I I mean, yeah, you've been doing that a lot lately. Um, been doing what, honey? Saving, saving or uh, saving? Um, <laughs> oh, planning, planning, possibly planning for the future. Yeah, I get that. I've been doing that too. Well, I think a lot of us is doing that. Um, just, you know, take, take heed and follow those steps. Take it one step at a time with that Mars energy coming for out with you. It could be, 
um, you know, an indication to slow down, like maybe, you know, wanting things to happen too quickly because we're so stressed we're tired of, you know, the struggle where, um, well, I was like telling my friend the other day, I'm sick and tired. I'm just so tired. And, um, the response I was met with was, um, some of us are sick and tired of being sick and tired. And, and that is definitely how I feel. I'm sick and tired of being sick and tired. So yeah. And, and the planning too. Yes. I'm sick and tired of the planning. And it's like, you know, I keep, um, being reminded Tiona of that, uh, when we're busy making plans, you know, God has other ones, like the universe has other plans. So it's almost like you just want to say, you know what, Jesus, take the wheel, right? <laughs> Jesus, take the wheel. Let it go. Hi, Rebecca. It's been a long time. How are you? You can absolutely have a reading. Um, what, what pile would you like? Oh, Jeanette. Jeanette has hers up there. Pile two, Jeanette. Okay. Yeah. Tiona, if you guys, if anybody wants to dive into anything deeper, you know, contact me. I am open for personal readings right now. So contact me if you want to just directly message me. We'll set something up. I do all my readings for a minimum donation of $10. Um, you can ask questions. I give you all the time that spirit, you know, wants me to give. If spirit wants me to give you an hour and a half reading, that's what you get. If it's 15 minutes cut and dry, that's what you get. You know, if you want love, you want me to focus on love, career, whatever, we can talk about all that. But it's a minimum donation, and you get a um, private link to YouTube, which you can go back and watch your reading over and over and over again. So let me know if you guys want to dive in a little bit better. Rebecca, I'm doing okay. I'm just, like I was saying, a little sick and tired of being sick and tired. <laughs> And I'm um, getting up and out <laughs> and planning. Oh, all right, Jeanette, my beautiful Jeanette. How are you, sweetie? It's been so long since I've seen you. Uh, all right, let's see here. Jeanette, thank you so much, spirit guides and angels, divine mother and father, ancestors and loved ones. Highest energies for Jeanette, please. Highest energies for Jeanette. Rebecca, we will do you next. Um, let me know which pile you want me to pull from. If you guys are new here, I do not pull cards. I let them jump, flip, fly, do whatever they need to do to get from me to you. And if you guys are new here, my name is Dream Lynn. Welcome to the Traveling Blossom Tarot. I'm happy to have you here. I'd love it if you guys give me a follow over on YouTube. I've been trying. Ooh, okay. They do want to come out. I'm not those ones, but those others. One moment. Wow, Jeanette. Did you see all that? Um, I would really love to get that going over there. I know I've been a little absent, but I'll be more... I'll be more available very soon, I promise. Okay, Jeanette, my lovely Jeanette, what do we have here? Four, six. Jeanette, we have a, um, wait a minute, six, ten. Jeanette, we have ten cards, so um, the number ten. But you, you know Jeanette because you follow me, so I feel like the number ten is um, limbo, right? Because tens are about endings, and they reduce to a one which is about new beginnings. So I always feel like there's some kind of limbo when you're, when you get the 10, right? Because you're not quite over and not quite started something new yet. You know, the cycle hasn't completed, um, but it's there, but it just hasn't, you know, gone to that next development. So I feel like there may have been some sort of limbo here for you. Um, over the last couple of months, I hear like a few months, few, three. So it could be three, but, um, the number 10 could be significant for you as well as ones. You could be seeing those. So let's see, you've got six that are face up four that are face down. Um, the six face up could be current energies, things that you're aware of. The ones that are face down could be futuristic or something that you're not quite aware of yet, but let's see what we've got. 
seems like a balance balance here well Jeanette you've got the owl coming out with um, the flowers the pig the Sun the cracked cup and the skull and the owl came out earlier this is um, good advice from a wise person I feel like this um, good advice is gonna bring you happiness it's gonna bring you some happiness we have the flowers coming out with happiness um, excuse me you have two birds here you have the owl and you have a um, blue jay so two birds two birds one stone is what I'm hearing Jeanette two birds one stone yes Lola absolutely um, so two birds one stone this information that you receive could actually you know that kill two birds with one stone and bring about happiness um, throat chakra energy with that blue um, may want to work with calcite blue calcite is what I'm getting for stone for um, for you but you may um, you may want to uh, work with your throat chakra a little bit or you might just start receiving a lot of um, communication a lot of talk okay a lot of messages could be online but I don't feel that this is online communication I feel like this is something in the um, physical world that could be bringing you know bringing in this happiness for you these um, messages you have this coming in as I was saying with the um, pig the Sun cracked cup and skull so um, there's happiness here but there's also there's also um, a little bit of a warning here because you have the pig beware of greed you have the pig right here beware of greed so I'm not quite sure if great okay all right thank you spirit um, coming in with this Sun it's happiness and well-being so I feel like what this is saying here is um, beware of um, focusing so much on the positivities that you might miss I'm seeing 11 11 right there guys um, focusing so much on the positivities that you might miss you know the pig in the mud right you might miss something important is what I'm saying um, happiness is great to focus on happiness and is you know and on the positivities but we have to be able to remove our sun, our rose colored glasses that I was talking about in the collective and see things the way they are um, this could also be with that greed coming through it's coming in underneath the owl a person this could also be someone being greedy with um, communication they could be ghosting um, gosh wow really with all this happy shit seriously <laughs> I, I hate it when it comes out like this and you know this Jeanette but seriously I'm getting some ghosting here um, it's coming in with the skull hidden secrets can harm you and the crack cup dissatisfaction with life so could be could be that some things have um, transpired that have brought you a lot of or maybe not a lot but some dissatisfaction with your life and you're ready to break free from that that's what I'm really seeing here because the cracked cup is coming in with the Sun so I feel like you're ready to break free you're ready to break free from the um, crap I'm hearing melodrama you have the happiness and the skull together hidden secrets can harm you so this could be also with the Sun it could be about um, secrets coming to light uh, something that was held back withheld from you um, some sort of knowledge information it's coming right underneath that bird so something um, is being illuminated which makes sense with this all of this that's going on in Libra something being illuminated um, may have to do with money may have to do with finances or something like that with that pig um, but it's brought you it's brought you some dissatisfaction and uh, may have even you know caused you um, a lot of discomfort because um, it may have like taken 
quite a bit from you that may have left you kind of um, trying to, oh my goodness, I keep hearing the saying that my mom used to say when I was a little girl because she was a single mom and she raised us, you know, and she worked really, really hard. And she used to say this saying like, I scratch shit with the chickens to raise you kids. So it's kind of like that energy that I'm getting here, Jeanette, is where it left you like really scattered and really trying to pick up the pieces and you really had to work hard. You have to put in a lot of hard work after um, all of this coming out. You thought this would be, <laughs> it's never easy with you, lady. <laughs> It's never easy with you. Um, but you have, okay, so here we go. So the four cards that were face down. Yeah, gosh. Jeanette. Jeanette, it's never easy with you, I tell you. But you could be you could be letting go of releasing a lot of greedy ass people. Okay? Or you can, because this is about ourselves too, and we have to hold ourselves accountable, and we have to see ourselves, and you know, to to improve our lives and stuff. So this could even be you letting go of you know um, some some uh, tendencies or something. I'm not saying it is, you know, take it how it resonates. But we have greed, and we have the peacock. Beware of great pride. So this could be about just releasing um, your own toxic behaviors that have hindered you in your own life because we all certainly have them. Like me, I'm always jumping ship on myself and running to try to save somebody else. And it's like, holy frick or frack, I need to stop that. <laughs> you know, that's what I'm, I'm seeing. Um, but yeah, so it could be about releasing some old behaviors. But I really feel communication is really, really important. And I feel like there's something hidden, something really deep and, um, it's communicative, but you have this coming out with a vase secret admirer. So this could be something that has been kept secret from you because hidden secrets may harm you. So it could, um, not, it could be that this is the secret. This is the secret and you know, this is a vase and vases um, shatter just like the cracked cup. So it could be that something's about to, you know, be opened up and, and you're about to see something here. Could also be that you have a secret admirer. Um, but I think that what, what I'm getting here is it's going to crack open. And it's going to open you up to where you see, possibly see, um, you know, behaviors in other people, maybe greed, maybe, you know, self-centeredness or whatever, you know, any of that. Um, you might be dealing with, um, and I love you Leos, but you might be dealing with Leo, you know, um, they have a lot, you know, they can, in their low energy can have a lot of great pride. Um, but I feel like this could be opening you up to see see the behaviors, to see what's happening. And ultimately, ultimately, Jeanette, you're going to kick someone out of your, your life. You're going to kick someone out because they're behaving um, ridiculously. And you're going to see that. You're going to um, be open up. Yeah, you're going to open up. I feel like you've been really focusing on your happiness, but you've been dealing with a lot of, um, well, I hear sharks. I hear sharks. So a lot of sharks. Empty chairs. Someone is leaving your life. Followed by the turkey. Someone is behaving stupidly. So someone that has um, caused you a lot of havoc, a lot of upset, a lot of dissatisfaction is about to exit is what I'm getting. And unfortunately, I feel like this is um, tough for you because you are really trying to work on your happiness and you're really trying to um, follow your instinct, your intuition, all of that. Hmm. Wow. <laughs> your mom said that too. Yeah, my mom used to say that all the time. Well, she still says it. Yeah. 
My mom still says that. Hit the nail on the head. Well, I wish you the best of luck because, I mean, we're all, you know, we all have this shit going on. We all have it going on. All right, Lola, my beautiful Lola. You're still hopping around. How's that foot healing? I seen your picture. Um, I think it was on Instagram. And then, Rebecca, I'm going to get to you. Um, let's see. Lola. I think you said pile one, right, Lola? Oh, thanks, Lola. Thank you. I I am like, I was so nervous coming on here today. I've not been this nervous. God, in forever. Yeah, pile one. Okay. Yes. Yeah, Rebecca. Yeah, pile one or two, though. I have two separate piles of these tea leaves up here. Pile one is amethyst. Pile two is agate. So if you want me to pull cards for you from pile one with the amethyst, let me know, or pile two. Mm. Well, I kind of, you know, I hate that, but I like that because, you know, everything is happening. It's happening for us. It's not happening to us, right? It's happening for us. So, all right, let's see. Let's see, Lola. Lola. And guys, stick around because after um, Rebecca, I am going to pull the charms and we're going to say good day. <laughs> you're so welcome. Um, Rebecca, you're going to be right after Lola. Lola is next. Master is growing impatient, guys, so I think he'll let us get to our 1130 mark, and that's about it. Have you guys seen him lately? He's something. <laughs> Lola, you could be receiving a handout. You could be receiving some assistance, some help. Maybe you're already receiving this help because it's um, face up. You only got two cards, Lola. I'll go one more time. Thank you. I felt like maybe something more. Oh, the foot is out of the cast. Wonderful. That's great. Um, okay. So first, Lola, you had two on the first riffle, and I was guided to riffle a second time. You had two, which is the number of, you know, partnerships. Um, unions, contracts, uh, and now you have six cards, which is the energy of the lovers of Gemini, um, Libra, Aquarius, but lovers energy, which is contracts, unions, relationships, and two are face up. So I feel like the number two is highly significant for you, four are face down. So this could be, I'm feeling foundation energy here with that for not necessarily, um, the, you know, hidden, but, but mostly just a foundational energy. So it could be that things are about to change in your foundation because you have the hand coming out. And the one, the other one that I see is it's coming out with the secret admirer in the vase. So you might meet somebody. You have it right there, and the number two could be significant as well as four and six because I'm seeing the two face up, the four face down, the number six is the total of the card. So I feel like um, those numbers are highly significant. Your um, relationships and your home life, your um, foundation. Secret admirer with the hand in need of help, assistance, and guidance. So you could receive information. You might um, go maybe on a blind date. Maybe on a blind date. Um, don't feel that too much, though. I don't feel the blind date so much. But I do feel like a blind... Um, helping hand. So, you know, it could be a guardian angel, um, an ancestor, passed on loved one, that's what I'm getting, that is going to um, 
give you some kind of hidden guidance, support. Maybe about a relationship, maybe about your foundation. <laughs> I love this. <gasps> Lola. This, this is awesome because it's the best so far. I love this. So you start with the secret admirer in the hand, right? And then numbers two, the relationships, the foundation, all that stuff we talked about. So you start with that. Okay. Next, the four that are face down. The box. You will receive a gift. So this could be like flowers at the door from some secret admirer that you never know about. And I know some of you may be thinking, oh, that could never happen, but it does. So it could be something like that. Or you receive some sort of gift from your guardian angel, um, a past on loved one. It could be an inheritance. We do have that Libra energy coming in. Um, <coughs> excuse me. We do have the legalities, those kinds of, kinds of things. So could be some sort of inheritance that comes your way. Um, could be something that comes from someone that you never even knew existed, which would be, you know, kind of, yeah. <laughs> I see you laughing. <laughs> Um, you have next, you have the rainbow. The most difficult part of the situation is over. So things are about to improve and it could be your relationships that are improving. It actually, I know I, we've been friends for a long time. Um, so this actually could be someone coming through, you know, or, um, something, you know, I do feel a little bit of romance. It's like a slight warm up. Like a, like a, yeah, just a slight thaw, <laughs> like a slight, a slight thaw, but you have the rainbow coming in. Um, so your difficult times are about over and I do see this, um, assistance coming in this gift next it's coming in with the crib birth or conception of a child or enterprise. So a new birth, a new relationship, a new, um, uh, I could be a romantic partner. <laughs> it could be Lola, you know, it really could. I laugh at those things too, but seriously, it really could. Um, birth of a conception, or it could be even getting news that you're going to have another grandchild or something like that. A new opportunity could be a new job venture, some sort of gift. It's going to bring you happiness, babe. You got the flowers and happiness. So whatever this is that's coming for you, whether it be a new contract that's romantic, a new business contract, um, a new baby, you know, grandchild, whatever it might be, it's going to bring about a lot of happiness. There's going to be a lot of chatter, a lot of communication back and forth about this joyful communication, happy communication for sure. I really like this. I really like this. <laughs> there's, there's joyful, um, really great communication coming in here. Really something really positive. And it's gonna, it's likely going to come from someplace that you least expect, right? It, it could be like a, a secret beneficiary or something like that with, uh, you know, any of that. Yeah, please do. Please let me know. That is what I got for you. Again, the number is six, four, and um, two might be significant for you, Lola. Hey, as you know, it's a long time no see. All right, Rebecca, let's see here. Pile one for Rebecca, and then I'm going to pull charms, and I'm going to close it out, but I will um, be back with you guys as soon as possible. Kind of just winging it here, so we'll be back. Do look for your zodiacs. I am going to be starting on those very soon. So stay tuned for those. Hit the notification bell, guys, if you haven't. I got you, Rebecca, pile one. My granddaughter was born six weeks. Oh, oh, congratulations, Lola. Oh, that's so wonderful. That is so wonderful. Congratulations to you and your family. That's wonderful. Hey, Lydia. Hey, good to see you. All right, let's see here, Rebecca. Rebecca, 
Thanks for my spirit guides and angels, my mother and father, ancestors and loved ones. Highest energies for Rebecca, please. Wow. Okay. Rebecca, I was starting to say that you were, I want you guys to see that, that they flipped. You know, I do not pull cards. I let them jump, flip, fly, do whatever they need to do to get from me to you. All right. Here we go, Rebecca. Um, as I was saying, I was going to say you're starting out a lot like Lola. You had two cards, and then, but then all of a sudden you had some other cards that popped out. So you have, what do we have here, Rebecca? Wow, you got some of the same cards too. We have four, we have seven. We have seven cards here for you, Rebecca. So it could be, um, that chariot energy, cancer energy could be dealing with a cancer, may have something to do with your um, home, your fourth house, you may have a strong cancer placement even. And this could even have something to do with your mother as well. I, I do recall if, if my memory serves, Rebecca, I think your mom passed away last year or the year before or something like that. I do recall. So this could be about, um, you know, that. I'm seeing good stuff here so far, though. This is really good. This is really, really good. We have seven. So uh, the chariot energy, taking the bull by the horns, you know, choosing a direction and going for it, going full force. Um, this could also even be about you retreating inward you know, um, settling into your home space, settling into your life or, or something like that. My mother is in spirit. My dad died. Okay. I, I remember your mom, but I didn't realize your dad as well, honey. Um, well, this could be the start of like, uh, like a new beginning in your foundation in, um, that area of your life. What we have is you have three that are face up. Now threes are um, Empress energy, new beginnings, new birth. They are, uh, the Empress is um, a mother energy, okay? So your mom could be here with you today. She could be um, assisting you in some way. But we have the sun coming out, happiness and well-being. So the sun, so, um, you know, things being illuminated for you, happiness being illuminated, your, you know, uh, things being lifted, your energy being lifted and um, elevated, even your vitality coming back into your vitality and um, enjoyment of your life. We have this coming in with the leg and the eagle. The leg, it says, stepping into a new experience. So definitely a brand new opportunity that you are getting ready to um, embark upon. Um, it will be successful. You have the eagle coming in. It is triumph over, um, triumph over troubles and obstacles. So you will be successful in whatever this new opportunity is that you are going to um, step into. You'll be highly successful. I'm getting a strong, um, the color red for you, Rebecca. So I don't know if red is significant for you or you might start seeing a lot of red, but the, they're really, really, really highlighting the red for me right now. Okay, so the, the four things that are hidden, still good. I love this. All right. I love this. I love this. You guys are like ending this session on a good note. And I like that. I really do. So um, you might be going on a journey, Rebecca. You might be taking a little trip. You may take a little vacation. This could be about, as I was saying, you pulling inward, going into your, your home space and just, um, you know, being happy there and being satisfied and, and uh, just enjoying it, you know, enjoying uh, everything that you have within your home. This could also, I don't know if you have children, but if you do, this energy is still here of this um, baby. 
So if there is a possibility of a baby in some way of your life, whether it's a grandchild, I'm not sure, but definitely um, a new birth of something. Uh, you have the kite coming in, vacation, so you might be taking that vacation. You have it coming in with tankard, celebration, fun, and enjoyment. So there's definitely something coming here that is going to really lift your spirits, Rebecca, and really bring your vitality back, okay? And the vitality back within you, because I really feel that strong um uh, cancer energy, you know, um, it's like taking care and nurturing yourself. So I feel like this is, you're really going to step into yourself, like step into your power. Even with that red could be about stepping into your power. You have candle, uh, you will be shown the way. So definitely something is being illuminated here. Just follow your intuition, trust your, you know, your guidance team, trust your spirit, um, your spirit guides, your mom, you say your spirit um, guide is your mom, trust that any information that they're giving you, any path that they may um, lead you toward, uh, any time that you feel like this isn't working, you know, trust that because it's, it's not. And then you have um, this being coming in with the bell. An announcement so something is going to come in and um, really just make a huge change in your home life and your happiness okay the happiness that you have at home is what I really feel could be an announcement you may go to a wedding or something like that um vacation over here with this announcement with the bell now see i always get a pregnant woman right here with this bell but this could be about a wedding or um some sort of event this could be about you getting out and doing things with friends and family um you know st uh, possibly you know those that are closest to you maybe you haven't done stuff with people for a while or something like that and this is you stepping back into your life and stepping back into the party scene or the friendships or you know the event scene going to movies going to dinner those kinds of things but definitely stepping into something that is going to um uplift you for sure for sure all right Okay, I know I said I was going to um, leave, but I, Master is um, being cooperative, and I have missed you guys so much, and I see Lydia there with Pile 2, so I'm going to go ahead and do it for Lydia. Um, Angina, if you wanted me to read for you, please tell me um, Pile 1 or 2, and that's going to be the last two I do if I, um, um, then I really got to go. You're welcome, honey. You don't have any children, okay. Well, I, I don't know if you're at that place where you can have children. It could be something like that. I don't know. Take it how it resonates, okay? Use your own discernment, as I always say. And guys, if you see things on the card and you feel something, you get inklings, then that is for you. Thanks so much, Spirit Guides and Angels, my mother, father, ancestors, and loved ones. Highest energies for Lydia, please. Highest energies for Lydia. All right, Lydia, there's some sort of deal coming through for you. The first card out is a handshake. You're going to make some sort of deal happen. Um, college. I'm here in college, Lydia. Um, I don't remember everything, but I am here in co um, college, colleague, college, colleague, both college, colleague. Okay. Um, Lydia, I'm not, I'm not sure if that resonates with you, but that is what I'm hearing. You have six cards. You have two face down, four face up where I can see them. Um, definitely a deal that could be coming through for you. However, Whatever this is, um, 
always pay attention to the fine print. Always, you know, pay attention to the clauses and all that. Because when we don't do that, we sometimes get ourselves caught up in stuff that we later wish we hadn't. And I'm getting that energy of um, sharing that with you because the handshake is coming right next to this cat, which is um, a two-faced friend. So I'm, I'm just getting pay attention, you know, to the fine print, pay attention to what is there in the deal, whatever this deal may be, because you've got it. Um, a handshake, a meeting with a stranger that could be important. Okay, so there's some kind of deal being made here, but be careful, be aware, stay, fo you know, take those glasses off. We talked about that in the, um, you know, in the collective, us wearing our rose colored glasses. Make sure that you have your glasses off whenever this deal, whatever it is, comes through because, you know, there could be something in the in the fine print there could be something written in between the lines if you know what i'm saying right in between the lines so do be careful with whatever that might be okay now this opportunity or deal or whatever that's happening here um definitely it could open up something for you um something possibly that you've been wanting because you have the door and it says opportunities are waiting for you so this could be a very um a very good thing for you it's just you just want to pay attention to the fine print that's all you just want to make sure that everything is covered for you and in your best interest because you know this is about this time is about doing those things that are um, best for us right and us no longer you know um, serving everyone else before us so do do pay attention to that doors are opening something might open up by august you could be dealing with a leo or even a virgo okay but august could be a very significant time with you this could be um something is illuminated in august something comes to light or some sort of opportunity um that comes up in august I feel an illumination, some sort of illumination, okay? And that illumination could be in regards to friends, so um, possibly with that cat coming in there. Next, next, um, Lydia, we have the broken bridge coming in, unsuccessful outcome to a problem. Uh, this is coming in right underneath this handshake. So I feel like this is spirit reiterating to you to make sure that you do, and I'm sorry, I'm not trying to beat the nail on the head, but to make sure that you do pay close attention to whatever is in the deal, okay? Because it could create unforeseen problems. And then before you know it, you know, the bridge, the opportunity is, is knocked out from underneath you because, you know, something was hidden. So there again could be tied to this illumination in August. Next um, and last, we have the dog barking advice from a friend. This could be um, one gossip because I'm, I'm seeing the maze right here outside the dog's mouth. And it's like information going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. So it could indicate a lot of gossip. Um, happening and um, that could be gossip around whatever broken opportunity or broken bridge um, that could take place if you miss something um, this is also advice from a friend so do if you <laughs> yeah it's coming right underneath Lydia it's coming right underneath the cat underneath this two-faced friend so I would definitely um, pay attention to that because it could just be gossip okay it could be just back and forth bull crap that doesn't really pertain to you you know it has no significance um, but could actually be potentially harmful um, I can't, I can't help this, Lydia. I, I feel like I need to grab something more because there's a door here. There's some sort of, thank you. Uh, this could be about a contract, definitely. You have two cards that came out to clarify this a little bit more. So definitely could be about a contract. Mm. Uh, this could be 
I don't know if you, you know, you might get engaged. It could be about a prenup, something like that. Um, but this opportunity is setting you up for more abundance, it looks like, or possibly a union of some sort, some sort of um, business opportunity or a romantic one because it's coming out with the bowl and the ring. And the bowl, it says plenty of material things. So this is setting you up for abundant opportunities. Uh, it could be, you know, that money that we were um, channeling in earlier. Uh, it's coming out with this ring. A marriage will take place, either romantic or business. So you're definitely going to be signing some sort of contract. And you might sign that contract by August of next year, Lydia. August 2025. Um, and again, Leo could be very significant. Leo or Virgo. Okay. Just, um, it's almost like I get an energy of a Mercury retrograde. Now, Mercury is in, um, Libra right now. So there's a lot of communication about, you know, our relationships, um, with others because the South node is and North node are in Libra and Aries right now. So it's with others and ourselves. Um, so you could, yeah, have a lot going on with finances and money and stuff. So let me know, Lydia, how it goes. Maybe with Jaden. Oh, that's right. You and Jaden are still working things out and doing well, I hope. Um, it could be, honey. It could be. I think we've talked about him. If you want to dive more into it, Lydia, do send me a message and um, we can do so. As I was saying, I am doing um, personal readings right now. So if anybody wants to book, just send me a direct message. I do them for a minimum donation of $10 and we dive in deep, 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 deep. You can ask anybody that's gotten a tarot reading from me. I don't quit till, you know, spirit sings. <laughs> All right. All right. Kristen, it's so good to see you. Christelle, hello. Guys, I got to get going. Um, I'm supposed to be on here until about 1130. Master is staring at me now. She's like, uh, yeah, mom, I got to go potty. So, but um, I'm going to be working on Zodiac readings here soon. So you guys, um, going over to my YouTube channel, if you don't mind, give me a follow over there and I'll be getting those for you guys real soon. Mm. All right, guys. So we got the eagle. Remember, in the collective message, um, we were we were talking about signs and synchronicities and dreams, especially right now. You're so welcome, Lydia. Uh, but we have the eagle coming in now. This is uh, the messenger. This is the highest spirit. Um, these messages come from the crown. So I feel like this is uh, the downloads that we're receiving right now. We are receiving so many downloads right now. Pay attention to those things. Listen to the messages. And um, they're clear. They're, they are crystal. <laughs> wow, look at this. You couldn't get any better than this. These are crystal clear messages meant to guide us and to give us wisdom because we have it coming in with the owl so these um these messages that are going to be coming through to us that we're receiving right now they are to help us grow and evolve and um, become wiser than we've ever been they're to help guide us and we need to trust in them to follow our intuition and to listen to these messages do take notes jot down things, signs, synchronicities, pay attention to the numbers. That is, you know, the universe talking to you. So, um, yeah, take heed. All right, guys, I'm going to get going. I have enjoyed being back here with you. I've missed you so much. I do apologize for the stumbles. It's been a long time. Um, but I hope that you received the message that you needed today. And I look forward to seeing you guys again next time. So until then, take great care of yourself. And as always, may love and kindness boomerang back to you. Bye-bye.